Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We are here at the 2021 Albuquerque Balloon Festival. And I was just riding my bike through the RV lot and I saw this beast and the owners were walking by. Welcome to the show. And how are you today? Doing well, and in your name? Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. This, my name's Matt, of yep. course. Um, tell me, what the heck is this? So the base truck is a Fuso. Mitsubishi Fuso. Okay. Um, you usually see it. It's a stock truck sold in the U.S. This is a 2017 model. Wow. Usually see it as a landscaper's dump truck. Okay. And a company named Earth Cruiser, which was started about 14 years ago in um, Australia. Okay. They built one. A guy named Lance Gillies built a prototype, took it across Mongolia. Wow. And came back and started producing them there. Produced them there for a number of years. And in uh, about nine years ago, they set up shop in Bend, Oregon. Okay. And they produce the whole unit. Um, they do not do custom work. This is all stock. Really? Yeah, and the reason that he does that is Lance has very competent engineers on staff. His, his build quality is amazing. Um, you know, a little bit on that. I've had this for four years. Okay. 52,000 miles. Wow. I, I take this down corrugated roads at 50 to 60 miles an hour. Wow. Um, you know, so we do not baby it. It's not a garage queen. Yeah, look and at this bumper. <laughs> I mean, look, they got the dogs attached to it, so they're not going anywhere. Yeah, and they have This is it amazing. Up yeah. Um, look, you got a little box up here, the little bar, yeah. so you don't mess up the chassis. Right, so, because we, this is surprisingly maneuverable. You know, you look at this, it looks large. It is really the size of an F-150 dual cab. Okay. I'm about maybe eight or 10 inches longer. Okay. But because I've got a 135 inch wheelbase, I've got the turning circle of a Toyota Tacoma dual cab. Wow. So I fit on Colorado trails with this. Wow. Let's uh let's cut these down and just go off the beaten path there. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> Man, this is amazing. Look at these tires. They're the BF Goodrich tires. Yep. All terrains. Yep. What size are these? So the those are 35s. LT315-75 yep. R16. And it has, it's probably independent front suspension, right? No, no, no. This is all solid axle. Oh, wow. This is, this but it's 4x4. Four four. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah, what? it's a it's a conventional 4x4 four four system. The 4x4 four four system is stock from Fuso. Okay. Um, the, the unit is built like a boat. This is all foam core, fiberglass construction. Wow. Um, there's no metal used in the in the house itself, so this is all foam core fiberglass. Um, it's very well insulated. I've slept in this at 15 below zero in Yellowstone in the middle of the winter. Wow, where, where, where's the most off the beaten path place that, that you've been? Well, I've, I did a 140 mile crossing of the Canadian Rockies on dirt roads. Really? Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been in Beef Basin, which is one of the most remote places here. Wow. That you could get to. Could you see the stars and everything real oh, nice? Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so he designed it so when the top's down, I can drive this thing directly into a shipping container. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. And I can ship sure. it any place in the world. Wow. The other thing that he did when he designed it is all of my systems come out of the sailboat industry. They okay. don't come out of the RV industry. Okay, why is that important? So it's important for a couple of reasons. One, the RV industry competes on price. Yep. Sailboat industry competes on reliability. So they don't care about price. A little they bit don't more care pricey. About price. Yep. So it's it's more expensive, but they're extraordinarily reliable. Yeah. I've had this for four years. I've just replaced my water pump. Wow. That's it. Wow. I've done nothing else to the systems. Wow. So everybody always asks, you know. Hey, why why aren't RVs made this way? Because if you had a production coach this way, you're talking a a, a boatload of money. Yeah. Little, uh, now this this was three hundred four thousand dollars. Okay. Two thousand seventeen. Right. I mean, you know, twenty seventeen. Right. Um. But yeah, and if we relate that to Class A's, like right. if they made this like a Class A, look at this, Psh, America. <laughs> you got a hitch. Wow, yeah. this is amazing. This is amazing. And the other thing about why it's built with sailboat components, yep, it's meant to be a world traveler. Yes. So I can pull into a port in Dubai or yep. a port in Thailand, they will recognize my components. Oh. Because they're used to servicing sailboats. Yes. Which N makes it cool for a world traveler. Have you been anywhere else? I haven't. But this particular one, because it was sold in the US, needs ultra low sulfur diesel. That's an EPA oh. requirement. So 
I'm limited to Europe, uh, North America, and the northern part of Mexico. Awesome, awesome. Yep. And where are you from originally? What originally. part? What part of America? Yeah, originally from the Boston area. About nice. Miles west of Boston. Nice. And I currently live in uh, Front Ranger, Colorado. Nice. Can we go inside? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Before we do, I want to give a big shout out to Electric Bikes for hooking me up with this bike. Uh, this is how my mode of transportation for here at the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. And we have a video about them and we'll link them down below. All right, just watch your head a little low. Okay. Uh, yep, I would definitely have bumped my head there. Yep. Wow, So it looks like a sailboat. Yeah, it's, it's built exactly like a sailboat inside. Um, but it's got everything we need. There's a queen size bed. Yep. Um, you're standing in the shower. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Well, you know, you got 90 square feet to work with here. Okay, and that, that's, that's a toilet. toilet comes out. And a, a lot of these small rigs will put a separate shower in. Yep. You open the door on them, they're always full of crap. Wow. Because people can't afford to give up the space. Yeah. Lance brilliantly took circulation space and turned it into something that she used for 10 minutes a day. It's amazing. It's yeah. a really good, smart layout, though. It is. Like, you have that. I've got battery operated air conditioning. And let me tell you, the, the pop up part. Oh, it makes it, it. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. But it's like, it doesn't feel like I'm in a pop up. It still feels like it's the shell yeah. or the frame of the motorhome. Well, and the other thing is, I've had the pop. You know, I told you I slept in it at 15 below zero. That was with the top up. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in, in Yellowstone. Um, you know, what's nice is these are all screens. Yeah. So you get great air across it, or I can zip it all up. They're three layer when it's all zipped up. Look at all that, that's amazing. Yeah, and again, these are all components out of the sailboat industry. Wow. You know, the fridge, the the other thing that's cool about it is everything runs off of diesel fuel. Okay, e even this? So this yep, is diesel like... fired. Wow. My heat and hot water are diesel fired. Wow. The only thing I have to put in here is diesel fuel and water, and wow. I'm good to go. And I carry enough diesel fuel for just about 800 miles. Wow. And I carry enough uh, 60 gallons of water. Wow. And 40 of that I can carry at 15 below zero. Wow, that's inside. amazing. That's yeah. amazing. So you got a four person dinette for people that, you know, are friendly. Yep. Um, we can crawl through to the cab, which is really handy. I love the shower. It's so smart. There's three things going on here. Four, four things yeah. going on here. You have your door, yep. your shower, your toilet, your sink all in one really smart with making it work and what's really nice is we ski out of this a lot okay i've stayed in this probably more in the winter than i have in the summer okay we come in you, you pull the toilet out you sit there you kick your ski boots yep. off yep. and all the mess stays it, right it's there called, yeah it goes into the shower pan and goes away i love that that yep. is absolutely amazing we um have 600 watts of solar okay 450 amp hours of lithium-ion battery wow i don't I don't even think about my electrical system. I wow. can charge it off the engine, but most of the time it'll maintain itself off the, uh, the solar. That's amazing. Yeah. This is this is amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anything there, else special about it? Um, you know, to be quite honest, and I'm, and I'm not trying to blow warm air up anybody's ass, the people who make it, yeah, the craftsmen who make this are wonderful folks. You know, Clive um, and James run the shop and... Uh, you know they're fabulous characters they really and they also respond to the owners yeah when the owners say you know this doesn't work quite well that immediately they'll come out with a bulletin here we can change it we can make it better yep you know Lance and Michelle who own the company are just great people I've traveled with them a lot I, I raced with them in Baja and uh, I'll give you an example of how nice they are this rig had an engine problem okay I was set to race Baja in 2019 okay with a team from earth cruiser i called them up and i said you know they're not going to get the engine sorted out before the race so uh, i'm not going to be there he called me up two days later he said if you can get yourself to bend i got a rig one of our marketing rigs you can borrow for the race wow and he gave it to me and you know i'm driving it gingerly during the race and lance says to me hey keep up Hell I yeah. Said, I don't want to break your truck. I don't care if you break my truck. Yep. <laughs> it's under warranty. You know, it was just wonderful. It was yep. wonderful. They're really good people. Yeah, so. so in the RV industry, um, my favorite manufacturer is Alliance RV. Okay. And again, same thing. I'm friends with the owners. Yep. Um, the the there, there's always gonna be issues. 
and it's about addressing the issues and fixing the issues, well, that's right. not just avoiding them. Right. So yeah. I love that. Yeah. Cool. Let's step on out. And I carry a freezer in the side pocket. Okay. Which gives me, you know, I can go off grid for two weeks. Wow. Without worrying about anything. And then final question, how many miles per gallon do you get? Everybody wants to know that. It's one of the dumbest questions, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll give you the answer. <laughs> it's okay. We want to know. Uh, on a flat level highway, I can get over 14 miles a gallon. Really? Yeah. That's better than my pickup truck. Yeah. But uh, I do not go fast. Yeah, no, I get like 13.9 in my truck. Right. That's amazing. I love that. Yep. Well, hey, thank you so much for being on the oh, show. We really welcome. do appreciate yeah. it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to share this with you. Okay. And I love this because, I mean, you have a prime, a perfect campsite because all the balloons are landing right here. So oh, thank you so great. much. Yeah.